How's it going guys? Welcome back to a crossout news video. Today we will be looking at a new dev block that released a couple of hours ago. This dev block, let me just get this close. Sir, there we go. This dev block is all about one of the new people coming to uh, cross out. We already covered one of them, which was what was his name? Kane Kyan. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Nevertheless, this time it is Sigurd. And last time we saw that the previous dude was going to fire starters. This dude is going to Steppenwolves. So the last one will highly likely go to Dawn's children, as you can also kind of see from the way that his profile picture looks like if you want to see what they look like you can check out the previous video that i did on these guys a couple days ago where they announced all of them in an instagram post and all that stuff we've already covered all of that so let's just look at what they are actually bringing today first of all sigurd looks like a very very heavily armored dude here as you can see and what they say about him is that sigurd grew up in an orphanage and was always bigger than the other kids however six shy demeanor never let him fight back against the offenders who often bullied the guy besides he realized his advantage in size and understood that, that he would easily win any fight but natural kindness prevented sigurd from hunting others together with two friends six survived the cross out and traveled to the wastelands until their roads parted it is said that during solidarity, wandering through the radioactive deserts, Sigurd crushed some monsters with his bare hands and became invulnerable. As a result, the giant joined the ranks of the Steppenwolves to protect the weak. And to do so, he brought himself some parts. First of all, he brought an auto cannon, which is a close range weapon. Uh, not much is said about this right now, but it does say that it is uh, armored like crazy and it has low turn speed and serious recoil, but that compensates for high damage and durability. The durability on this thing is 415 points, I believe, and the perk of this will be something along the lines of when enemies are near, you gain some sort of a bonus. So close range auto cannon looks really really dope excited to see this in game hopefully they will put these on the pr test server so that we can give them a spin when we get them next up sigurd's auto cannon is a or no sorry the cabin which is the cabin will please the fans of large dimensions its unique perk will allow you to gain a short term advantage in the offensive or defense it depends on you so it seems like this perk has some sort of you know two modes you can alternate between where you maybe get some offensive bonus or uh which will like give you increased damage or whatever or defense which will maybe make your build more durable something along the lines of that and while there has been a lot of speculation about these cabins actually being potentially legendary i mean if you can actually get a perk like that which is on paper sounds quite strong and if actually and if it ends up being that then i mean there might actually might be something about it us getting legendary cabins i'm still doubtful if they are gonna give us 13 energy cabins or if they're just gonna keep them 12 energy and then still make them uh you know legendary so that we won't get any more than a max of 12 energy still but we'll have to see what that is all about and then finally we have this external manipulator which is a mechanical pole and sick claims that he built it himself in memory of the slain radioactive monster Carrying a bony, a bony paw <laughs> everywhere appears to be troublesome, while the mechanical one looks cool, and you can always rebuild it. All oh, those sick stories. So, the last time they showed us like weapon cabin, and they showed us a uh, what's it called? What's it called? They showed us some decor items. So, I'm not sure if this will be a decor item, but as you can see here, it has like many different movements in its sketch here. So they sketched out different postures of it, which kind of maybe tells us that this could potentially be a claw weapon of some sort. Maybe you'll be able to grab someone, maybe it is just a deck, or maybe it's a random armor item. We're gonna have to see, but honestly, this looks like we could potentially get a claw here, which might work something like a melee skinner or whatever. It's huge though, so maybe it's a repair arm also. We'll have to see <laughs> but that is pretty much all they have for us in this tiny tiny dev block just wanted to put that out here there because i know a lot of you guys don't really read these news you just look to youtube whenever there are cross out updates so this one is for you as always thank you so much for watching have a good one until the next one bye bye